Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense. Hope you're doing well. This is a very special occasion. So I escaped from the dungeon and I have a fireplace for ambiance. Look at that, it's real. So what is the special occasion? Well, Drakkar, more specifically, Drakkar Intense. Yeah, 50 years after the release of the original Gilda Roche Drakkar, we've got Drakkar Intense. Now, the original Drakkar is not the most well-known, of course. The most well-known of the line is Drakkar Noir, which if you followed this channel at all, then you know that's one of my all-time favorite fragrances. So even though this isn't Drakkar Noir Intense, the fact that there's a new Drakkar got me pretty hyped. In today's video, I'm gonna let you guys know is this worth it? Was it worth the weight or the personal hype that I felt toward this, or is it kind of a letdown? I'll also show you guys the presentation, let you know where you can pick it up. So let's jump into this. First up, presentation. On the front of the box, you got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration. And I gotta say, love that look, love that style. This one going with burnt orange instead of Dracar Noir's red. Nothing up top, nothing on the side. On the back, you've got the ingredient information. And then on the bottom, you're gonna find your batch code. Batch code here is 38U8012. Then we've got the bottle classic Drakkar style. You've got the name of the fragrance, name of the house, the concentration right there on the front, DK up on top of the cap, not for Donkey Kong, not for Diddy Kong, for Drakkar. Nothing on the back, sticker on the bottom with your batch code, the cap clicks into place, and it is crazy mad cheap. This is just like the other Drakkars, it looks bargain bin. The cap weighs absolutely nothing. The atomizer is cheap and crappy. It just has this little crimp right there, no collar to sit over top of the, uh, the atomizer. It even looks a little bit cockeyed when you look at it, kind of sideways. Do like the, the deep ambery color of the fragrance though, that looks good. I'll go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you guys. Like I said, the atomizer, it's not great. As of right now, main place you're gonna find this is eBay. I'm sure before too long, all the major discounters are gonna get it. On eBay, it's about $40 US, and I would imagine that when it comes out of discounters, it's gonna be less than that. But as of right now, about $40, give or take five bucks. Now, as I said, I was really pumped when this was announced. A new Drakkar? Yes, please. So I was anticipating this more than probably your average guy. I'm a little bit of a fanboy, a Drakkar fanboy. I own all of them. Yeah, even the ones that nobody cares about. Looking at you, Drakkar Dynamic. So how's this smell? Well, when you spray it on, it opens a little bit aromatic, a little herbal. It does have that old school fougere feel to it. Actually, my wife, when she smelled it, when I first sprayed it on, she said that smells like old school masculine soap. And actually she brought that up more than once over the time of me wearing this and testing it out. So if you go up to her and you ask her, hey, How's that new Drakkar Intense smell? She's gonna say, uh, old school soap. So yeah, initial blast, aromatic, little bit herbal. The lavender comes in pretty quickly. Don't get too much citrus in there at all. You've got flashes at times of the original Drakkar and also to a lesser extent Drakkar Noir in here that you can pick up from time to time, but it's not really super close to either one of those. Bits and pieces of each, yeah, but a reproduction, no. And pretty quickly, as those aromatics start to settle down, you pick up this almost spicy booziness, almost like uh, little hints of sweet cinnamon and woodiness and, and booze. And the interesting thing about that is none of those are notes. No cinnamon, no booze of any sort, no rum, no whiskey, no nothing, and no woodiness. And yet I pick all of that up. And I'll tell you, the first fragrances that came to mind when I was wearing this the first time, were not Drakkar or Drakkar Noir. The first things I thought of were Azaro Pour Homme Intense and uh, to a lesser extent, Pache de Cartier Parfum. Mainly because those fragrances were reimaginings of their parent or original fragrance and they were done with this, this boozy, sort of spicy tone. And that's really what differentiated them from the original in their lines. And that's pretty much what's happening here. Now my favorite part of the fragrance is as it heads through the mid, there's about 
20, 25 minutes where that spiciness, again, kind of like cinnamon, but this sweet spiciness pops out with an ambery flourish and how it comes across smells fantastic. Like it smells great. It's quite sweet. It has that woodiness underneath, that booziness running through it. Best part of the fragrance, hands down, not close. Like 20, 25 minutes there as it heads through the mid, this stuff is amazing. Unfortunately, that doesn't last very long. Into the dry down, you get a soft vanilla, little hints of patchouli and suede, not too much, and remnants of that woodiness from the mid. And overall, when you do hit the dry down, it's a pretty big letdown from how good it smells in the mid. It's not that it smells bad, it's just not up to par with how it smells in that mid portion. So dumbing it down, this is basically the Guy La Roche Dracar style take on what happened with Zaro Pour Homme Intense and Pasha de Cartier Parfum. Very similar ideas, boozy, woody, slightly more modern, but taking bits and pieces from that original DNA and weaving it throughout. Still has a decided throwback feel to it, so this isn't hyper-modern or anything. It's got one foot still in the past, and as such, it's going to appeal more to people that do enjoy fragrances that have a bit of that classic masculine feel to it. Typically, that's going to mean guys middle-aged or older. In terms of seasons, you're looking more fall, winter time. I think it splits the difference between a day or a nighttime scent. It doesn't lean that heavily on one side or the other. I'd also say there's a lot of versatility with this one. If you like this type of scent, you can pull it off about anywhere. With all that out of the way, let's get into performance. Uh, it sucks. There's not really any way to sugarcoat that. For me, the performance is not good. This is an eau de parfum concentration. It says so right there on the front of the bottle and right there on the front of the box. And yet I'm lucky to get maybe four hours out of this thing. Projects best in the first 30 minutes or so, which is a good thing because that's that part in the mid where it smells awesome. You can actually pick it up. But once that fades out and you head into the dry down, it's a skin scent. Now, part of that could be down to the atomizer, I guess, because again, it's not a huge amount that comes out. It's a little puff. But even if I spray somewhere like I did on my hand three times in the same spot, in three or four hours, if I go to smell it here, it's not gonna be there. Now maybe that's just me and other people are getting better performance, but for me, it's an underperformer for sure. Obviously that's a big letdown. When you've got a fragrance called Dracar Intense and Dracar Noir when it first came out was a powerful performing fragrance and that's really the fragrance people go to or they think of when they hear Guy La Roche to have a new one come out that is Dracar Intense and have it crap out after four hours, not a good thing. Maybe if it were a really fresh fragrance made for spring and summer, full of citrus, you know, just chock full with uh, notes that you wouldn't expect to last, maybe then you would look at it and say, oh, four hours, yeah, that's not great, but it is a summer scent and all this stuff. You could make excuses for it, but it's kind of hard to do that with this one. So performance, big letdown. So what do I think about this as a whole? Do I think it's worth picking up or not? Like what's the overall consensus? Well, I'm kind of split. The opening through to the mid smells really nice. The dry down, kind of forgettable. But a big reason that the dry down is forgettable for me is because the performance lets the fragrance down. By the time it hits the dry down, I have to basically do this to be able to smell it at all. So at that point, what's the point of even wearing the fragrance? I can't smell it, nobody else can smell it. And just to clarify, it's not a skin scent in the way I would call maybe Dolce & Gabbana's The One Eau de Toilette a skin scent. With that one, if somebody gets near you, they can still pick it up pretty well. This one, when it fades, it is, it is just on your skin, that is it. It's not coming off in the air or anything. So the performance is just a major letdown. Opening through the mid, love it, love it. After that, not much to write home about. There's some irregularities also, like I said, the spiciness, uh, the booziness, the woodiness, you can pick that up much more clearly than a lot of the listed notes here, so that's kind of weird. Obviously nothing to get worked up about, but it's kind of confusing. You'd think at least some of those would make their way into the official note breakdown when you can smell them so clearly. So should you buy it? Depends. If you're a big fan of uh, fragrances done in the style of Zara Pour Homme Intense, then yeah, go ahead and check it out. If you're a big fan of the Dracar line, go ahead and check it out. Outside of that, probably just pass. I'm glad I have it. I'm glad it came out, but I think it could have used a little more tweaking before it came out, you know, just see if they could pump up that performance a little bit, just a little bit. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me. 
finally got myself a new Drakkar and uh, it is not replacing Drakkar Noir for me. If you smelled that one, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for your support. Stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.